So hi guys, and welcome to another Python tutorial video. So today, I thought it would be cool to go over some list subtractions like map and filter. Now, map and filter are used basically instead of looping through a list to make things a lot easier. Okay, so I'm going to start with just creating a list, and we're just going to call this nums, and we're going to say it has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And let's say we want to iterate through all the numbers in this list and then mult and then double them. Okay. So we can say 4x. We've we've done lots of for loops at this point. So you should have a good understanding with how they work. So we can say 4x in nums. Nums um we'll say return. I'll just say x or I'll print out the result. I could spell that would be nice. Print x plus x. Okay. And then we'll print this out. Yep. Okay. So what it's doing is it's basically doubling 1 to 2, 2, 2 to 4, 3 to 6, 8 to 10. Okay, cool. So it's not too bad to write a for loop for this really simple example, but there's probably going to be hard ones. So anyway, I'm going to show you how we can do this using the map function. So I'm going to just start with creating a variable called, and we'll just call this def, double, we'll have it take in a number, and then we'll just have this return n plus n, which is the exact same thing that our loop did. Okay, and then I'm just going to create a tuple called numbers, one, two, three, and we'll have, put those numbers in our list, and then let's we want to let's say we want to again we're going to double all these numbers with our function so how we can actually do that is i'm going to start with creating variable and we're just going to call i'm just going to call this doubles and i'm going to say it's equal to this map keyword and then i'm going to give it the name of our function and the name of our tuple which is numbers and i spell numbers wrong and then i'm going to say not going to do that. I'm going to say print. Um, I'm just going to make it into a list and our variable is called doubles. So what this should do is it takes all of our numbers and it's doubling them. So what this map, what's being passed to this, I'm going to go over this map function a little bit more. So it re basically what this map's doing is it's returning the given res it's returning the values and then passing them to a function which is being used to create a list so we're starting with we pass it the value of our function what our function is doing is it's returning each of it's returning each of our values plus each other which is doubling it that's why i called it double and then we have to pass our numbers okay so that's how the map function works or okay let's uh let's just do another example so i'm just going to call this li for list let's do one two three four five six cool and let's create a function that instead it multiplies we'll just call it mult and we'll have it take an x and return x times x Okay, now how we can do it this, I'm just going to, instead of creating a variable, I'm just going to have it print. So we can say print, and we'll have it turn into a list again, and we'll use that map function. Now we want to pass in our name of our function, which is mult, and then the name of our, or that's a two, <laughs> create a tuple called list. Anyway, and we'll just run that. Yep, and it prints out one times one, two times two, three times, and so on. Okay, so that's how the map function works, and this can be really useful for when you're writing some for loops. Now, I still got some time left on my free screen recorder, so we're going to go over filter now. Okay, so filter actually works really similar to map, and you can actually use these two together. So I'm going to start with creating a function, and we'll call this 
odd and it's going to check if a number is odd so we'll have that taken an x and it can return we'll just check if the number is odd which is x modulus 2 or if it's odd it would um, it would not equal zero. I just messed up on that. Okay. And then I'm going to assign a list. Which A, I'm just going to call it A. One, two, three, four. I know I'm so creative. Six, seven, eight. And we'll just go up to ten. Now, what, what the filter function is going to do is it's going to filter out all of our numbers in our list that are odd. And I'm just real quickly going to show you guys how to do that. So we'll just say B equals, I know I'm real creative, list, and then we can use this filter keyword, which if you just saw that little pop-up came up, we give it our function, and then we're going to give it our list, or our tuple, or, okay, so we call it our function odd, and then we're going to, and then we're going to give it our value of A, and then I'm just going to say print B. Okay. So it filter, it gives us a list which filters out all of our things that are odd. So cool. Now we don't have to create all those for loops to find out if something is odd. And also we can use, we can use um, map and we can use filter together. So I'm just going to create another function. Just call it def and we'll call this add. And let's say we want to add, add two to every number. Er, uh, yeah, we'll just add two to every number. Okay, and let's say we want to add two to all of our numbers and then see if, um, check if they're odd. So I'm going to create a variable called C and we'll say list. And now we're going to use that map, which we just did. And we're going to give our map our add function. And now we're going to give it also our filter function because we're trying to filter out our numbers. And then inside the filter function, we again are going to give it odd and a, which is the same thing we did right there. Okay, and then let's print C and see what this gives us. Okay, so it added two to all of our numbers. Cool. So that's how we can use our list and our filter function. Now, um, oh, let's say we want to, um, we can double all of our numbers. And since I did Lambda in another video, I'm going to show you guys how to do, do this using map in Lambda instead of having to create a function. So have I used nums? It's really not, it's not a good, I go over this every video because I do it all the time. It's not a good practice to keep on like creating tuples of numbers and naming them numbers. You want everything to be named something else or you're just going to run into lots of issues and it's going to be confusing. So I'm just going to create a tuple called nums. And have I used result? Nope. I'll create a variable called result and we're going to set this equal to that map keyword. And if you see my other video on Lambda, then you should have a little bit of an understanding on how Lambda works because we can use that Lambda keyword with map. So we're going to say map and then we're going to use that lambda again. And I'm going to create our expression right here. We'll just call that x. And what lambda does is lambda is kind of like name lambda is a nameless expression which is like defining a function. So that's just going to basically this will double all of our numbers. It's doing the same thing that creating a function would do. It's just pretty much easier. Okay. And then we're going to print list results. If I can spell that correctly. Okay. And this should return the exact same thing that this did. Only this is just using that um, lambda expression instead of creating a function, which if you have a lot of code to write, it's going to be a whole lot easier. Okay. And... Let's compile this. Yep, it returns the exact same thing as at first. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit about lambda and nameless expressions, or lam <laughs> lambda and list abstractions is what I meant to say. 
Um, so we've gone over filter, we've gone over map, and we went back over that lambda expression. And these things can be really cool for when you like don't, or when you have lots of value, like lots of things you want to do. Like if you want to add six, add five, divide by something, and check if it's odd, you can do this instead of doing a for loop with lots of chains conditionals. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful.